Alright, September the 6th. It is 10.13 in the morning. I am at the corner of Clay and Highway 6. This is my checkpoint overall because this is the road that I'm going to continue to monitor till I can get back over it. Also, because Clay Road being a main thoroughfare going east and west, I want to know whenever it's open. As you can see, water's receded. Back a little bit farther, I can see more of the median back there. I already know, going to the camera rear, which would be heading east, I mean heading west, I love you, honey. Don't get mad at me. Wow, there's a lot of debris in the road out here. And I mean a lot of debris through this parking lot back here. I'm heading up Clay Road right now, heading west. Wow, the smell is incredible. Nothing but raw sewage out here. Cool. Don't know why or that damage came from or why. You can see out here, staging area at some point. And the golf course is completely underwater. Here's Bear Creek Village. And let's see, as far back as I can see. Very interesting. You can see how high it is on that car. You may be able to see how high it was on that car. Let's just say the windows are down and the water line is above the window line. So that water is probably completely inside there. Okay, yeah. Now I'm seeing it now. There's a water line. Oh my goodness. That water, that, that was completely underwater at one point. This is one of those times I really wish I had my other video camera here. I don't know if this is going to come out. But there is a water line. If you can read the numbers 4318 on that red brick building right there above the bench. The water line looks like it is about 6 inches underneath the 8. And I see that water line on every building going directly across. That car, where it's sitting, would have been at least a foot to two feet, probably two feet underwater. That's how high the water was back here. There's the golf course. Sorry, I've got horrible zoom on this thing. There's the golf course. And as you can see, it is um, not really a golf course at the moment. I can't quite get to the light where I was at a few weeks ago. I don't know, man. Maybe I could if I gingerly go down this side. I can see the curb all the way around all the way down. I'm going to have to probably come back this way. Okay, I'm literally in and I'm seeing currents in there. I don't think I want to mess with that. I'm going to go ahead and back it up. But you can see I've gotten a little bit farther. Let me zoom. I mean, that's the entrance right there to where Attic's Reservoir is. There's a sign off to the right of there. See, I got a guy who's wanting to push past me now, and I'm not really wanting to go much farther. I guess I will now. Hang on a second while I clear some debris because I'm not going in there. Actually, I'm going to let him see. Nope, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out of the road. No, 
found this on the side of the road. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god, it's like sewage out here though. Huh. Oh, it's all you can smell. It's just raw sewage. Oh. Well, if nothing else, I figure it's good to sit here and watch this guy, see where he's able to go. Again, he's he's higher than I am, man. So what he's doing, I'm not. He's still sitting probably uh, a good foot and a half higher than I am. But that parking lot right over there, I was just at there right before everything really got bad. And there's a sign right there if you can see it. Attic's Reservoir. I'm actually able to see the sign. This is at uh, Hickory Downs, I believe is the name of the road. So... Eldridge, there's the entrance to the park right up here, and past that is, oh my goodness, that guy is going to go down that road. Look at it, where, where it's at on his tires. Yeah, he can make it through there, at least to there. I can't even stand the smell of this place anymore. I've, if, oh my goodness, if you didn't evacuate out of here, oh my God, the sanitary conditions can't be good. Oh my goodness. Hey, this is like literally about to choke me out. It's horrible. Look, you can't even see the side of the road over there. smell and now the wind's blowing Blah! sorry if my narrations are a little too vivid I've seen some of the other damage that they'll have to come back here and deal with oh my goodness you know you got this stuff here oh there's a good one for you. Look at the water line on the back of this building, on the back of this house. There you go. Look at the water line, people. I do believe that's just higher than three foot. That's like a good, that's a good five feet up. And you can see that's just right here. I'm right here from Highway 6, just south of it. About 150 yards south of Highway 6, the water's up and got up to about five foot. Let's show back over this way again. Look at this, chairs floated out. Looks like my buddy, if you can see him, looks like my buddy's coming back. Let's see if we can, uh, can I flip it? No, I can't flip it like that. Anyways, so yeah, that's uh, that was exciting. I'm not gonna try doing that going down, hi down Highway 6. I'm going to peek out here and see what I can see, though. Uh, I'm probably going to have to literally drive over a barricade here. But I'm going to take it up the road. Oh my goodness, all of the debris. I'm praying I don't catch a nail. I can miss the big stuff. Whew. 
Okay, so the wind is blowing in from the from the east, right across the reservoir. It doesn't really smell much like a reservoir right now. Holy cow. More like a bunch of dead holy cows. So here's your, your line of shot there. This is the road that I've been making it down. But yeah, I don't know the name of this road. It's the road the Wick office is on. just as dry it's drier than it was a little bit not much to say about this okay so yesterday there's your wick office definitely had water in it there's like a window busted out you can see some of the water line on there we got pretty high this looks like it got maybe about maybe close to about knee high it looks like Seems to be where the water line is. Uh, well, actually a little bit higher than water than that. I can see a water line right here. You can see that it's pretty much right there with the shoes. So yeah, it was pretty deep back here. So, I'm sorry I didn't get down to Attics last night. Truth is, by the time I got down there, I tried using my super photo lens on this thing and it was not able to actually see anything. I could see it, but I couldn't pick it up on video. And so I figured that I would get down here this morning and I'd get a look at it because it looks dramatically farther back than where it was. I believe this is the apartment complex that is going to be, yep, this is it. Look at all these contract workers. All these contract workers. These were all the guys that were in line yesterday. About a hundred of them. They were all up in line over here in this parking lot, signing up to do contract work. And I talked to one of the guys and he said he they, they were planning on being out here for two weeks. I mean, uh, two months, I'm sorry. Check that, two months that they would be out here repairing the damage, tearing out the sheetrock, the insulation, and the appliances, and replacing everything else out there that needs to be replaced. So, anyways, I'm back at, uh, this is Clay Hill Drive that I'm on. I'm turning back onto Clay now, heading east. I'm gonna take a left and head north on Highway 6, and then I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take Little York down and go uh, head down to, um, Eldridge right now. I want to see the condition over there. Some more clean out going on in these businesses. And so, um, yeah, I imagine the, the, that it's going to be a dramatic difference from the last video I shot. It looked, uh, in all honesty, it looked like the water had receded maybe an additional 200 yards. And I keep not getting this, and I really want to. Look at the look at the damage in this parking lot. I, I don't even want to pull into this parking lot, but I'm gonna pull in. Look at the damage to this. Look at what happened over here. This looks like a war zone. It's like a war zone out here. Look at this guy, he's crazy. He should not be going across this parking lot. I'm in a truck and I'm not gonna go across this. This looks like something out of 1980s Beirut, man. This is 2017 Houston, Texas after Harvey took a swing at it. Look at this. The debris everywhere. The windows busted out at the Fiesta. But I mean, there's a nice little avenue right here. I'm gonna try and get a better overall long shot of this but I mean when you really catch it I, I actually didn't see this at first but I caught it out of the corner of my eye last night and oh my goodness look at it as safely as I can get up to it and show a good shot of it I mean look at this 
damaged, 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 damaged. These windows are all pushed in. Keep in mind, the water right behind here was where I was showing. It was like five foot deep. Damage, windows pushed in, doors pushed in. Oh, there you go. Hang on one second. You can see the water line inside the building. There it is on the outside of the building. Look at it on the inside. Look at how high that water got. I mean, that's just amazing. Wow, they're gonna be digging this out for a while. A dollar store? Yeah, what's its chances of recuperating? You know, most of these businesses probably didn't have flood insurance, which is crazy over here. Anyways, I'm gonna head down to Attics, uh, as close as I can get to it, going down Eldridge Way. And um, yeah, I'll shoot the video up and let y'all see that as fast as I can. So I'm gonna head there right now.